in the first game, every weapon had a life cycle or a lifespan span, and uh, you couldn't like hold weapons indefinitely. So you constantly had to like scavenge and whatnot to keep your arsenal up. <clears throat> so I'm wondering if that's still the case. If it is, I'm not that bothered by it, if I'm being honest. Like, I, that's how it was in, in Dying Light 1. But... I don't know. I'm, I'm either or on it, honestly. Because on the one hand, it makes sense. Because, uh... That way, you ha you ha you're, like, pushed to actually not keep weapons. Because you technically can't keep weapons. Oh my god, it's right in here. Uh... But it's also like I really like this weapon and I don't want to farm for another one. So type of thing. So it's either take it either or honestly. All right, what's up, bro? Hey, aren't you the pilgrim they wanted to hang? Yes. Yeah, you were in luck there. I was. I could use some of that luck. I'm Alberto's apprentice. Not for long, probably. It's the third time I'm taking a shot at this test. If I fail again, Craftmaster Alberto's gonna kick me out. What's this test about? I have to design something useful for the citizens. That is I fucked up. I underwater reading glasses for Alberto, then a retractable dog leash. But he kept jamming. And besides, we have no dogs here. All my ideas are worthless. Now is my last chance to prove that I am not worthless. So I spent the last several weeks walking around the bazaar and thinking, thinking hard. And then I hit it. Our goats, they're kept in cages because they eat crops. But life in cages makes them sad, and they give less milk. So I came up with the idea of a fence, energized with just a tiny bit of voltage. That would keep the goats under control, but let them produce more milk. I called this invention the electric fence. That's how much, dude, that's how much life has degradated that they don't even know what the fucking electric fence is. So what's your problem? So what seems to be the problem with this invention of yours? I'm missing a few parts and they're not that easy to get. I'm worried I won't be ready on time. Maybe you could help me. If you find them for me, I'll give you one of my super cool inventions. Nothing to do with goats, I hope. Nah, something much more interesting. You'll see. I just need some electric parts. I'll dismantle them for resistors and other useful things. As far as I know, they can be found in two places. One's an old hardware store on Fitzwilliam Place, near the water tower. Alberto says they'll be there for sure. But it's a dark place, full of turned creatures. You have to go there at night. And the other option? Whatever's left of military patrols. I know of one place south of Horseshoe, near the old electrical substation. Bandits roam in the area, so it's possible there's nothing left there. In which case, you'll have to look for other patrol remains, or take a night trip to the store. Yeah, I'll see what I can do. But I, I can't promise anything. I would be very grateful. You okay? But you don't recognize me or are you allergic to making money listen pilgrim we can make a killing you and me you just need to get me you some beets radishes parsnips there he is grab him ed he's a murderer what julian luke's been poisoned from the water you sold him devon says what but i don't sell water liar luke told me he got it from you whatever's in it has him ranting and raving now you sure he didn't blame me after he started renting? Oh, well, wait a minute. Do you have proof? Of course. The water came in a bottle. Luke got that water in one of your bottles. When I tell Carl about this, you'll hang! Bevan, wait! I swear, I don't even sell water, damn it! If you're lying, Julian, you're fucking toast! I know what I know what I'm gonna help you with now. So then, if you're not selling water, how'd someone get a hold of one of your bottles? 
Knowing that shithead Luke, he probably stole it. That would be like him. Even if he did, my water's pure as melted snowflakes. It's not. So, uh, maybe it's revenge. For what? Everyone loves me. Never had an enemy in my life. Wait a second. Wait. Shit. Except maybe. <laughs> Shit. That bastard. Come to think of it, he's got an axe to grind for me. It was a long time ago. Never mind. Listen, he lives above an old shop on the west end of Villador on Hounfield Lane. I traded him a few kilos of my finest flour for the water. Prove he poisoned it, and half my flour is yours. Can you do that for me? I guess I could check it out. And there's one more thing. I'm a little embarrassed. Hans might also have a bottle of this water. I thought you weren't selling it. I'm not, except, well, to Hans and... Can you go warn him? He's also on Hanfield, a few buildings down. Something's fishy about this, Julian. Look, you better be telling the truth, otherwise it'll be hard to help you. Yes, sir. Cheers. Up here. Oh, hello. You look familiar. Yeah, I'm the guy who almost got hanged. Why worry? You're standing here, aren't you? Excuse me. Look, we had no choice. If you had turned like we thought you were gonna, it would have been a massacre. Punch this bitch in the face, bro! A crowd of people against one infected. Odds were in your favor. Huh. I see you already got a marker. More time you spend here, more you'll understand. Our rules are strict, but that's how we survive. Sure. Hey. Oh? You're a pilgrim, aren't you? You're a pilgrim, right. aren't you? Do you hang people for that, too? Uh, I just wanted to say that I was rooting for you. Yeah, uh huh. Thanks for standing up for me. What? But I, I didn't... Ah, I get it. Sarcasm. Look, it's not that easy to go against the crowd. Sure. I know people are scared of pilgrims sometimes, but... <sighs> Shit. You survived outside the walls. <laughs> that to be some. Oh, that's right, huh? I survived outside. I think this is a test bunch of pussies. Oh, All of y'all. Bunch of pussies. Here? So. How far am I from the shit? Oh, I'm not that far. So this is find Marco, the supplier, and then this one is uh, Hans, the hunter, before he drinks the poisoned water. All right, let's go to the dude first. That way he doesn't die. Because knowing this game, if I go to one first and not two, that dude might die. And the game's going to be like, what happened? You didn't save me. Hans? Hans, you there? Uh oh. Hans? There we go. Oh, that moron must have taken the wrong bottle again. Forget his own head if it weren't stuck on his shoulders. Hey, what did you mean by the wrong bottle? He always takes a little rocket fuel with him when he goes hunting. But the booze is right here. That means he's got water. Where is he? And what business is that of yours? The water he got from Julian. It might be contaminated. He's hunting at this... Uh, the military tower, a, a few hundred meters west of here. Unless he's at the courts. I'll go to the tower. You check the courts, fast. Wait, wait. Take the booze with you, in case he's already drunk some of the water. I bet what's in this bottle will kill whatever's in that one. Dude, if he drinks rocket fuel, as he calls it, then I'm, I think he's fine. I think the water is going to be like, yo, whose man's is this? Um... 
Okay, bro, you're wasting valuable time. Can you just... Okay, you know what? Do this. <sighs> I'm gonna die. I'm gonna fucking die. Can... Alright, at least show me where I'm going. Two? Okay, which is... Over here. Two. This is fine. We are fine. All right. This is fine. All right. Yeah, I told you we're fine. Uh, two. I think I'm going to one. Oh, I'm on two. Hunt. Hunt. Hans, are, are you Hans? What do you want? Did you drink any of that water? Goddamn right I did. Tasted like piss. It's your booze. Take it. Your wife said chug. Drink it already. Bullshit. What? <laughs> My wife said that. My Anna. She thinks the alcohol's strong enough to burn the poison out of your system. Ha! Huh. My woman. <laughs> so she loves me after all, despite her bitching and moaning. <laughs> and they say romance is dead. Here, for making my day. And maybe saving my life. <sighs> Look, you need any help getting back? Nah, I'm good. Me and this bottle of booze still got some work to do. Hunting? What the fuck is this man hunting? Also... What the fuck? Look at this shit. Huh. Okay. Great. Another water thief. Just what I need. Between thieves and infected, I'll be out of business soon. I'm here because a guy named Julian claims you sold him poisoned water. I didn't poison anything. All right? Uh, Julian claims otherwise. Sure. Listen to the guy who sold me flour mixed with plaster. If you're not the thief, how are you with infected? I need to get rid of those things that are down there. If not, I'm done here. Poison water or not. Okay, I'll get rid of the infected and you tell me what happened. Deal? Sure. Deal. All right. This, uh... I really do. Let's go. I've done it. Make way, kid. All right, okay, you're safe. Now, what's the story with the water? Go away. criminal or pretty <clears throat> damn fucked up to drag your ass hundreds of miles through a world full of virus uh, fucked up in a good way of course okay so, what about the water that makes sense there ain't nothing wrong with my water the man at the bazaar was poisoned and you'll be blamed if he dies it was an accident okay an accident it's because of these goddamn thieves thieves they're always stealing my water. I can't take it anymore. 
So I decided to set the trap. So you deliberately poisoned the water to kill the bandits? Mm, not quite. At least uh, I didn't mean to. A, a while ago, I killed this viral that came crawling in here. And the fucker fell straight into a tub. The whole tub fucking ruined. But then I got this idea. Why don't I teach these bastards a lesson? So I filled some bottles with the zombie water, sent them out where they'd be easy to see. They were never supposed to make it into the bazaar. Guess I was sauced up and accidentally sold a few bottles to Julian. Look, I'll give you all the flour I got. I'll even throw something extra. Just don't tell anybody. I'd be ruined. You know what? Just be honest and tell your story to the bazaar. It was an accident. You nuts! No one would buy even a drop of water from me ever again. Good. I won't let Julian hang for something he didn't do. Fuck Julian. I got my own skin to save. I'm about to fight this dude. So that's a story you ain't going Ooh. to tell. I knew it. What the fuck? You're yeah, no. Do the splits for me, you asshole. All right. There's a lot of shit down there. Forsaken stores. Dark hollows and forsaken stores are two open world locations that contain valuable loot. During the day, they're full of infected, so it's smart to explore them at night. That makes sense. Provide you. Forsaken stores provide you with rare craft parts that can be used to create weapon mods and other more advanced items. I call it the best for finding valuables and old world money. Okay. Oh shit. Yep, they found me. Oh shit. Uh, I'm, I think I'm getting too greedy. Alright, that should be fine. <clears throat> oh shit, I, get, I literally got him a minute. I don't know what happens if you... Uh... Almost day anyways. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Oh my god, dude. I am gonna die because I can't go on the fucking roof. Bro, if I die right now, I swear to god. Please? I can see the fucking UV light. Okay, for sure. Let's go. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll be back in a bit, Hassan. I need to go do a thing real quick. I almost died. I'm assuming you die. Night nighttime bonus. Let's go. Game is fun though. I'll give it that.
All right, so let's do this. Uh, am I doing it? I don't even know if I am doing it. That sucks, bro. Let me help you. God, the fact that like the the infected hide in bu buildings kind of reminds me of uh, I Am Legend. I think it's called from it's a it's an old ass movie. Here, I don't know how to thank you. One more thing, could you help me set up my show? My installation's right outside the main entrance. Turn it on, please. I'll go get Alberto. Wait till he sees it. Meet me by the goat pen then, near the wall. He looks a little young, so maybe he doesn't know what an electric fence is. Cause like, I know damn well the people who Careful made it. This is kid look all like fucking like, yo, what's good, G? Like, like she's about to do some crazy ass moves on me or whatever. Okay. Carlos, 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 where's the, where's the thing, Carlos? Did you just kill the goats? Carlos, did you just kill the goats? Everything all right? No, it's grilled. The goat is grilled. I'm such an idiot. B what happened? I must have overcalculated the voltage. See, he's useless. I'm sorry. I don't know how I could get it so wrong. I told you it would be a waste of time. Why? I don't think so. This is very, very. It has big, huge... You're saying it has potential. Potential, yes. It an could be weapon. an Yes, sir, it can. A weapon? It's a ready formula. If you just use it on a weapon, it could raise your odds against turned creatures. The brave goat gave its life to science. There's dinner for everyone. And you? I take you. You are so lucky Alberto saw it like that. Because I would have been like, you're a you fucking idiot. Are, uh, Apprentice. A, uh, Apprentice. Craft master? Really? Oh my gosh. Thank you. Thank you. We'll talk later. Come, Vincenzo. Vincenzo? I can't thank you enough. Here. Take this. If it's not strong enough, come around to my craft master workshop. Sure, thanks. Just uh, watch yourself out there, okay? No worries, friend. Idiot. Killed his goat. 